Greetings and welcome. This is Rajiv Makni. The show is Cell Guru, and we're doing something very interesting today. We're actually exploring the changing OnePlus story, its partnership with Hasselblad, the OnePlus 9 series, and a whole lot more. This is a brand that has completely and totally morphed. Then we'll move on to our very, very famous Qualcomm segment. We'll talk about how superior audio quality, all the great stuff you're hearing right now, how Qualcomm is making that happen. Then we'll move on to the noise color fit ultra a watch that i think is about to change the game as always it's a great show let's get started and before we get started with all those stories let's take a look at all the news and headlines coming in from the world of mobiles micro blogging platform twitter has announced that it will discontinue the disappearing post feature fleets due to a lack of response from users in a nutshell fleets are small bubbles that are found on top of your twitter timeline similar to instagram stories and facebook stories initially people were curious to post fleets but the fad did not last long according to twitter people who are using fleets are actually posting their own tweets there just to amplify their reach and that is why twitter thinks it's best to let go of fleets the feature is set to disappear on 3rd august Social audio app Clubhouse, which was launched last year, has gained a lot of popularity. Now, the company has launched a direct messaging feature called Tag Channel to allow one-to-one -one and group text chats. Clubhouse has rolled this feature to both iOS and Android. The app, which saw explosive growth last year during the pandemic, has added 8 million users since launching on Android. It said direct messaging features were one of the most requested features by its users. The company also said that it will be adding more features in the coming weeks. Lots of top stories on the show today. So let's get started. My first story is OnePlus and how this brand is changing its own story. Comes in in 2014. No one knew this brand. Comes in and absolutely and totally shakes up the market. Flagship killer. What Apple and Samsung and others were doing. They said, we'll do it at one third the price. They packed in high-end hardware with clean software at a really low price. Almost one third, one fourth. The latest OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro partnership with Hasselblad are great examples of how this brand is totally shifting things now. The shift from one flagship every year to a new segment of smartphones like the Nord series. They've changed their strategy that they'll only have high-end phones. There's also a lot of talk of whether are they alienating their hardcore fan base, the tech geeks, or are they really moving now in taking a great amount of stuff, great products, great devices, but a layered approach like other companies. And they're actually making sure that they differentiate with the fact that their products are still great, but their prices are a little bit different. Let's take a look at this story. We are awash today with flagship killers, phones and devices that are priced at one third of that of premium flagships, offer almost the exact same features, but don't break the bank. Today we expect it, but at one time, nothing like this existed until one company broke the mold and started a revolution. The 2014 was the watershed moment as an unknown player, OnePlus, was set to break the monopoly of big brands like Samsung and Apple. Carrying the moniker of flagship killer, OnePlus changed the game. Flagship level hardware matched with clean software at a disruptive price. The company's latest, the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro, are great examples. Both are excellent phones with flagship killer credentials. In the past, OnePlus phones have had stellar features but haven't been the best in terms of optics. That dramatically changed when they partnered with legendary camera manufacturer Hasselblad, which is renowned for pushing the boundaries in imaging technology. Hasselblad is a legend in the world of optics and the partnership between OnePlus and Hasselblad has brought wonders to the latest generation flagships from the company in the form of accurate and natural looking colors. OnePlus 9 and the Pro version take a quantum leap forward and one can only wonder what the next generation OnePlus flagship will achieve within this camera partnership. Let's get back to the OnePlus story and their tag of being a flagship killer. In its infancy, OnePlus was an enthusiast brand. Incredible phone specs at incredible prices. This is exactly how the company gained fans enthusiasts that promoted and built the hype of its upcoming releases. People became unpaid brand ambassadors and evangelists for the brand. 
the word of mouth publicity helped the brand immensely helping them sell 1.5 million handsets by the end of 2014 globally all this with near zero spend on marketing but this strategy cannot last forever operating on low profit margins can only be sustainable for so long eventually there needs to be a push into profitability OnePlus decided to make that switch from an enthusiast brand to a more layered approach like Samsung and Apple. Phone prices started to move up and OnePlus has followed suit by increasing their prices every year. However, the most dramatic shift was when the brand introduced a new smartphone category, which was never done before. Previously, there was always just the OnePlus flagship of the year followed by the T upgrade. Now, They have a mid-range portion of the smartphone equation in their portfolio with the Note. OnePlus shed the moniker of being only for tech geeks by expanding the product line with a sensibly priced phone. OnePlus has also further evolved into more markets like TVs, wearables and more and has become more of a traditional smartphone manufacturer instead of a niche enthusiast brand. A move that was initially criticized but now has paid rich dividends. While the critics believe that in pursuing a larger customer base and keeping costs competitive, OnePlus has started using the same business growth strategy, sales, marketing channels, resources, hardware as many others. OnePlus believes that it is expanding its base and market share while still making sure that its product line and features are distinctive and stand apart. What is commendable though is how this startup has disrupted the smartphone industry globally. carving out a niche market for itself in a short span of time long gone are the gimmicky invite systems today's oneplus is a more focused company with larger attention to detail coupled with a more expansive product lineup that makes sense for almost all users oneplus no longer makes a phone only for enthusiasts instead it's bringing better phones and devices for many people and as a result the android landscape is a better place Let's move on now to our very famous Qualcomm segment, and we'll talk about audio. How Snapdragon has enabled superior audio performance. All that TWS stuff and all the other headphones that you're listening to. Well, Qualcomm has a lot to do with that. Quick pop quiz for all of you out there. Where are you watching me right now? Are you watching me right now on a phone or a tablet or any other kind of handheld device? In fact, the highest chances are that you are. Yes, watching this show and me on your phone with a pair of earphones or perhaps even using the phone speakers. That's because phones have now become the central hub of all media consumption and for very good reasons too. Streaming services like YouTube, Spotify, Netflix make it very easy to access a worldwide library of content in the palm of your hand and users are enjoying the content on their phones. Now instead of fighting over the TV remote control, when is the last time you did that, right? There's a 40% increase in subscriber figures and the numbers totally back it up. Now audio is widely considered the backbone of media experiences. Think of your favorite movie. The best scenes would simply lack the impact if they were not backed by a superlative audio experience. Same goes for things like podcasts, of course, for music. You want an experience that is identical to what the producers intended, and this lockdown life has also brought mobile gaming to the absolute forefront. From multiple player gaming in particular, it really benefits from high quality and reliable audio. Low latency or the lack of it can make the big difference between you winning or losing a game. However, you know entertainment isn't the only area where audio is so important to the experience. With remote work now being the norm for millions of people across the country, phone calls and reliable dropout free connectivity is now the key for productivity. The increase in all these audio experiences and use cases also ties in with another trend and that's the rise of bluetooth or true wireless earbuds or headphones did you know that india witnessed a 723% increase in the sales of true wireless earbuds last year 
In the third quarter of 2020 alone, shipments for true wireless earphones crossed 8.4 million units. That's a lot of people depending on wireless earphones for their productivity and entertainment needs. Calls, music, media, games. Consumers want the convenience of true wireless audio, but they also want the reliability and high quality audio afforded by wired headsets and technology is stepping up to that challenge. Traditionally, the best way to get the highest quality audio output has always been over a wired connection, but that is fast changing. High quality audio playback, minimal latency, rock solid connectivity are now non-negotiables for us. From the hardware to the Bluetooth radio and most importantly codecs like Aptex, it's a confluence of all three that come together to offer the highest quality user experience possible. High performance codecs on mobile and wireless hearable devices can make the difference between laggy poor audio and a high fidelity really good immersive audio experience. And there's a lot of science behind the art of sound and Qualcomm Technologies has long been innovating on pushing towards wireless audio, seamless dependable connectivity combined with high quality playback. These are the key pillars responsible for delivering a really good superlative multimedia and gaming experience and people love it. Now let's find out from Qualcomm how they've been revolutionizing the space of audio solution across various categories. The first person joining me on the show is Sarah McMurray. She is the Senior Manager, Product Marketing for Qualcomm Technologies. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us on the show. It's an absolute pleasure. I'll start by asking you, what factors are driving the increasing consumer demand for premium audio experiences? There are lots of different factors driving the demand for premium audio experiences. Um, all over the world, consumers have really embraced true wireless earbuds and they've fully accepted them into their everyday lives. There's also been huge growth in streaming audio and consumers are increasingly seeking out higher quality music when they're listening wirelessly. The almost global shift to home working is driving dependence on great voice quality and very robust connectivity. The rapid expansion of 5G is driving increased consumption across social gaming and streaming and this in turn is really driving a need for low latency, very robust connections with great sound. What is Qualcomm doing to provide a superior audio experience to the consumers? We're combining our expertise across mobile audio and connectivity to provide the ultimate sound experience, whether you're listening directly from your mobile device or wirelessly on your earbuds. One of our key technologies for this, for Bluetooth, is called Aptex. And Aptex Adaptive has been designed to provide 24-bit, 96 kilohertz audio quality, so listeners can hear every single detail of their music just as the artist intended. For voice calls, Aptex Voice is designed to deliver 32 kilohertz super wideband voice for crystal clear calls. This means that for periods where you're maybe on a call for a very long time, it can help reduce listener fatigue and just make sounds clearer and more pleasant to listen to. Aptex Adaptive is also designed to be very robust and therefore it minimizes any audio dropouts or glitches when you're listening on the go in very busy environments. So that sounds absolutely fantastic, but let's talk about something that you actually mentioned, some very important audio technologies and codecs and everything else from Qualcomm. What's the key benefit of these and how is it that these are really taking forward the audio experience? There are some great benefits for consumers of both Qualcomm Aptex and Qualcomm Acoustic. So, Aptex is used for Bluetooth earbuds and headphones and speakers and lots of other different devices. It was designed to deliver high quality, low latency sound with very robust connectivity. And then on the mobile side, Qualcomm Acoustic was designed to support an authentic reproduction of the original audio. So that's true audio file formats of up to 384 kHz, 32-bit PCM. So that's amazing audio quality direct from your mobile device. So my last question, what trends are you seeing in the audio space and how will Qualcomm help to improve the audio experience in the future? So what we're seeing um, in terms of trends is really a continuation um, of, of, of what I mentioned previously. So really kind of, you know, people moving from having one dedicated device for music listening, one dedicated device for gaming, one dedicated device for working out, to wanting one device that does kind of all of the things they needed to do. So they want, you know, great quality music. They want very low latency for, for immersive 
um, experience like gaming or watching video and they want great voice quality for making calls um, and what we're really doing to, to try and help improve the experience is looking, instead of looking at individual components, um, what we've done is we're looking at the entire audio chain end to end, um, so from the mobile device, even beyond that, from you know streaming services, mobile device, right to the earbud, to make sure that all of our technologies and all of our software are optimised to deliver the very best experience. Thank you so much, Sarah, for joining me on the show. Now let's talk to Samir Mehta from a, a company that is absolutely on fire. He's the co-founder and chief product officer for Boat. Samir, thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on the launch of the new Rockers 335 and AirDope 391 audio products. But can you tell me what's the key USPs of these hearable devices? Hi, Rajiv. Thanks for having me on the show. Our latest generation 335 and the 391s that are based on Qualcomm chipsets support high quality aptX audio with a 24 bit rate uh, codec. This uh, allows you to have high resolution audio uh, streaming across uh, all the phones and devices and that's what makes it very special. Uh, the CVC noise cancellation is another one which is actually uh, one of the major features across the Qualcomm chipsets where you know, uh, the mic quality and the calling quality becomes really, uh, really good and that, that's why it was a natural choice for us to go with Qualcomm. Samir, what made you choose Qualcomm's Aptex technology for these devices? Qualcomm is an industry leader in hearable and wearable technology and that's why it was a natural choice for us. Uh, the aptX audio that comes out of uh, Qualcomm chipsets supports a 24-bit uh, streaming rate and that's why the audio quality is fantastic. You can hear every beat, every sound that you intend to hear. And that's why it's just it just made perfectly uh, good sense for us to partner with them. Fantastic, Samir. Can you please tell our viewers how you've leveraged Qualcomm's audio technologies to deliver a premium audio experience to the consumer? With Qualcomm, we're working on the new generation chipsets. They help us design the products and there's a very, very natural integration with Qualcomm in terms of the design to the development. If you see what's going, coming out of Qualcomm's portfolio, it's going to be adaptive listening, adaptive uh, noise cancellation. So the overall gamut of products that are coming from Qualcomm are very, very good and that kind of helps us, you know, uh, let, set us as industry leaders in terms of technology. Samir, thank you so much for joining me on the Sale Guru Show. I really hope you come back and join me again. Let's take a quick break right now and we come back. Lots more happening on the show. Let's move on now to our next top story. And this is a story you should actually track because this is about noise. Noise will be making a lot of noise with some excellent smartwatches, but this time I think they've outdone themselves. The ColorFit Ultra. So big screen, live 24-7 heart rate, SpO2, blood oxygen level, a true sensor, very accurate sleep tracking, heart rate variance, stress monitoring, female health tracking. And like I said, I think the part that I truly love, that large, large screen, 1.75 inches, biggest in the category and also great resolution but i think it's really the way they've made it the look the build the ui everything else that they've put in with three color variants gunmetal gray blue and black so let's take a look at this watch because i think at this price point if this is the kind of smartwatch that can come out well other brands should be a little bit nervous if the ongoing pandemic has taught us one thing Keeping a close tap on your health vitals has never been more important. However, equally important, it has never been so easy to keep track of your fitness levels. Fitness trackers come in all shapes and sizes, but finding one that strikes that key balance of accuracy, features and design can be hard. Enter the Noise Color Fit Ultra. In the Selguru review, we see if this is the one to get in the competitive sub 5000 rupees segment. Introduced by Indian wearables and audio brand Noise, this smart fitness tracker keeps it simple with a design that is familiar and just works. The first thing you will notice on the ColorFit Ultra is the large 1.75 inch display that looks vibrant and bright. We tested it outdoors under direct sunlight and had no trouble viewing information, a very important feature to have when you want to check stats in the middle of a run. 
That large display is encased in an aluminum body. Despite the likeness and design, you won't be mistaking it for an Apple Watch, but the materials used help it stand out amidst the plastic clad alternatives. The Colorfit Ultra also offers ample opportunities for customization through replaceable straps and over 100 watch faces. A smart fitness tracker, however, is nothing without accurate fitness tracking, and the Noise Colorfit Ultra comes with ample sensors to enable that. From 24 hour heart rate tracking to SpO2 measurement, we found the watch to be accurate for all day use. We particularly liked the in depth sleep analysis through stress monitoring was hit or a miss. We also like the sheer variety of sports modes available on the Colorfit Ultra, especially the ones tweaked for India, including the likes of cricket. The 16 modes include standards like running, cycling, aerobics, and Zumba as well. However, the lack of GPS means outdoor running and activity sports won't be as accurate as some of the competitors. A big miss for the Noise Colorfit Ultra. For all the women out there, yes, the fitness tracker will assist with tracking female health as well. Like most smart fitness watches, the Noise Colorfit Ultra includes a few apps like a world clock, Tosh, the ability to accept or deny calls, as well as quick SMS replies. The watch will also be getting a stock market tracker through a software update that should further set it apart. The Noise Colorfit Ultra, however, is not a smart watch, so don't expect to add extra apps. Priced at 4,499 rupees, the Noise Colorfit Ultra is a decent option if you want a good-looking fitness watch with reliable heart rate tracking and SpO2 monitoring. However, unless you value form over function, the lack of GPS support makes it a tough bet against existing options like the Redmi Watch. That then was the Cell Guru Show for this week. But do remember, we've got an epic lineup coming up next week from Oppo Reno6 Pro to a whole lot more. Do join me. I'll see you then.